The following is a special sports presentation of the Wabash Valley College Radio TV Broadcasting Department and News Channel 15. Good evening, Warrior fans. Welcome to the Spencer Sports Center for tonight's GRL GRLC conference matchup between the Wabash Valley College Warriors and the Blue Knights of Albany Central. I'm Cole Carter, joined by Ian Klinger. We saw the ladies team get the big 102 to 64 win over the Lady Knights, which, in, which included Kia Patton breaking the all-time school record. 46 points scored in the entire game. 26 of those were scored in the third quarter, both of which are school records. Ian, not much Lady Warriors did wrong there in the second half, got a big win. Yeah, it was a big win, especially, you know, they came into this game, you know, five and one. So it's a huge momentum booster, especially first conference game, and it's against an excellent rivalry between all in Central College. Now on to the men's side, and it's been a rocky start to the year. They came into this game with a record of 1-3, while Ong, on the other hand, is 5-0. and So a big test uh, at hand for the second home game this year for the men's side. Uh, last time the men's were out, they, were, they lost at home to Highland, 81-60. to But Highland's a pretty good ball club. They defeated Vincennes just a couple of weeks ago. So uh, they've had their hands full so far, but hopefully they can get on the right track in their conference opener here tonight against Alney Central. Looking at Alney Central, uh, looking at last year, hopefully these teams actually, uh, Wabash finished 25-8 uh, and 16-2. and two. They shared the conference title with John A. Logan. OCC right behind them, 25-6, and 14-4 in the conference. Uh, they met twice last year. First time was here in Mount Carmel when the Blue Knights edged out WVC 70-68. to 68. And they met again later that year, uh, that time at Alney. And the Warriors won a thriller, 88 to 83. They were led at the time by Josh Thomas with 25, and Levi Cook with 18, both of which are off to Division I schools. And now it's on to this year's claim for the Warriors. They've led, uh, they're led this year by Marcus Garrett, who was hurt last year. He's averaging 13.5 points per game. Bobby Harvey's averaging 8.5, as well as Raekwon Drake. And Amir Yersif down low, averaging just over seven points per game. And uh, Tony Burke just below five. So, you know, Ian, if you look at the scoring totals for Wabash Valley so far this year, not a whole lot. But as we know, all it takes is one player to kind of get on fire. Like, example, Kia Patton, <laughs> get on fire, get that total up, and, and leads to eventually to a win. Yeah, and I think uh, Wabash Valley will really look towards Marcus Garrett and possibly Bobby Harvey and Raekwon Drake, mm. th top three leading scores. I mean, Marcus Garrett, I mean, the difference between – Garrett and Harvey for points per game is is about five points, so they'll look to Garrett for this game. Yeah, so once again, Marcus Garrett did not play last year. He was out last year with a torn ACL. I know Coach Mike Carpenter is happy to have him back this year after losing numerous big-time sophomores last year, two of which are in the building tonight. Just saw Justin Carpenter and Chucky Wilson walk by, so they've made the trip over from Evansville where both of them are playing at USI, Division II ball. Uh, two of the players from that team that went all the way to the region championship last year and lost against Kaskaskia. But, you know, all in all, Wabash Valley, they've got room to improve. And, and much like last year, they saw uh, had a rough start, but made a run towards the end of the year. So they're hoping they can do the same this year. We're about two minutes away from tip-off. We'll go ahead and take a short break. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to Warrior Basketball on 89.1 The Bash. Having a party rock. <laughs> it left. <laughs> all they had, all they had, was just that intro. <laughs> yep. Welcome back to the Spencer Sports Center. Cole Carter and Ian Klingler also joined by Drew Pouton and Alec Vaughn with us. And you can't forget, back in the studio, Bryce Klingler hitting all the right buttons for us <laughs> at all the right times, helping this broadcast sound so well. We appreciate all the fans tuning in on Facebook Live and tuning in to 89.1 The Bash and also BashRadio.com. You can also find the replay for this game uh, later on this week on News Channel 15. So both teams getting done 
with their pregame routines, getting set to meet the starters for both of these teams. Once again, Wabash comes into this game with a record of 1-3. and three. Albany Central is 5-0. and oh. pretty, pretty good crowd tonight. Pretty good crowd for the women's game at first, but some more fans have found their way to their seats. And I think a lot of them were from the ladies' team. Mm -hmm. They kind of fa found some seats in there. And Student section looking pretty well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Actually had uh, actually one of the player people down there sitting there was attempting some couple of shots there. So, so it seems like we're going to have the national anthem once again. And so with that being the case, we'll take another one-minute break here on 89.1 The Bash. Gentlemen, remove your caps for the plan of the national anthem. Yeah, go ahead and bring it back. National Anthem wrapping up here at the Spencer Sports Center. Cole Carter, Dean, and Klingler here as the Wabash Valley College Warriors look to get their first conference win, their first conference game of the year here against Alney Central. Look at the starters first for Alney Central. Number one, Nick Walker, a sophomore from Henryville, Indiana. Also number three, Elijah Farr, a 6'8 freshman from Kansas City, Missouri. Number 10. J.J. Calicon, a 6'5 freshman from Louisville, Kentucky. Number 11, C.E. Talton, a 6'3 freshman from Monroe City, Missouri. And number 34, Jalen Moore, a 5'10 sophomore from Cloverdale, Indiana. There's the starters for Alney Central, and we'll be the starters for Wabash Valley College. The announcer, Bryce Thompson, introducing these players for Wabash Valley. Double zero, Tony Burks getting the start. Sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri. Number one, Marcus Gary. They hear a nice roar for him. They're happy to have him back after missing last season. A 6'3 sophomore out of Hazelcrest, Illinois. Number two, Bobby. Number two, Bobby Harvey Bobby. from Hazelcrest, Illinois, a 6'3 sophomore. Harvey comes into this game averaging 8.5 points per game. Number 20, Raekwon Drake, a 6'5 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. And the man in the middle. Guy hoping to have a big game tonight. Number 40 from Chicago is 6'10 freshman Carl Jones. So for Mike Carpenter's ball club, that's Burks, Garrett, Harvey, Drake, and Jones. For OCC, it's Walker, Farr, Calicon, Talton, and Moore. Only Central 5-0, Wabash Valley 1-3. Once again, you're listening to Warrior Basketball on 89.1 The Bash, WVJC, also online at bashradio.com. Notice we are having some technical difficulties on the TV side of things on Facebook Live. We will take care of those as soon as possible. But for now, stay tuned in here to 89.1 The Bash, WVJC. So both teams getting set for the tip-off. 
And we'll get ready to bring this one for you. Once again, Cole Carter and Ian Klingler here at the Spencer Sports Center on the campus of Wabash Valley College in Mount Carmel, Illinois. It will be Carl Jones and Farr tipping off. Elijah Farr for OCC tipping off the jump ball for this one. Both team set, music toned down. And we are underway. Jones wins the tip. <laughs> Warrior basketball, and we're underway. Conference opener for the Warriors tonight. Here's Tony Burks. He'll dribble to the left side, hands it off to Harvey. Harvey back over to Marcus Garrett, right side. Garrett crossover, pull up, jump shot from the elbow. His short rebound. Jones, he'll go up and put it in. Excellent job. Just got around the defender there. Excellent play from Carl Jones. I love Carl Jones. They're using all 6'10 to go grab that rebound. War is going to pressure here. Here's Walker, right side, top of the key, over to Moore. Alney Central trails 2-0 here. We're 30 seconds into this one. Here's Farr, top of the key, dribbles left hand, guarded by Jones, goes up, backdoor cut, and now a corner pass over to Walker for three in the right corner, in and out, rebound, tipped up in the hands of Garrett. That was almost a made basket as Drake almost hit it vertically, yeah. put it in the, his own team's no, wrong team basket. So here's Wabash on offense. Here's Harvey. He'll go with the right hand. Puts up a shot and can't make it in, but a foul call. So Bobby Harvey driving the basket there and draws the foul. So two shots coming up for the sophomore from Hazelcrest, Illinois. So the foul will be on C.E. Talton, the freshman, six foot three from Monroe City, Missouri. So really interesting to see a kid from Missouri playing mm -hmm. in a small IECC college. First free throw for Harvey, no good. Harvey once again comes to this game. Second leading score for Wabash Valley, averaging eight and a half points a game. Warriors are led by Marcus Garrett, who is averaging 13 a game this year. Once again, we are having some difficulties on the Facebook Live side of things tonight, so we're in the process of getting those fixed as Harvey hits the, first, uh, the second of two. And so it's now 3-0 Warriors, one minute down here in the first half. Looks like a full court press mm -hmm. that we've seen from the Lady Warriors is now being used with the men's as well. Here's Talton, he's got the basketball met there by Harvey. Over to Calico on top of the key. Calico dribbles right, hands it off to Walker. Walker, back over to Talton. Left side, Moore, met there by Garrett. Moore, crossover, pulls up for three. He's a left-handed shooter, it's off the mark. Rebound, Walker, he'll go up and score. So an offensive board there from Nick Walker and Alney Central on the board. It's three to two, Wabash in front. 8.25 left here in the first half. Here's Burks, dribbles left, hands it off to Drake. Raquan Drake, pull up, jump shot. In and out, it'll roll out into the hands of Calicon of Alney Central. 3-2 Warriors lead, 18-10 left in the first half. Calicon into the basket, no good, rebound more. Out to far, cross corner pass to Telton for three, in and out, rebound, and a foul on the rebound. It's gonna go against Bobby Harvey. Yeah, they're just, gonna say he pushed off. Yeah, he pushed off. I didn't, it, from our angle, it didn't look like he pushed off, but official was a lot closer, so made a better call there. So one of the few issues the ladies had in the first game was allowing some offensive rebounds, and the men allowing a big offensive rebound. They're going to give the Blue Knights a second chance opportunity here. So Moore will inbound for the Blue Knights, and they get it into Calicon. Calicon drives, blocked from behind by Jones. Here comes Marcus Garrett, three on two for the Warriors. Garrett drives, and nice pass to Bobby <laughs> Harvey for two. Harvey's got three of the Warriors, five, and it's five to two, Wabash Valley. Excellent Euro step passes. We welcome you watching from Facebook as the technical difficulties have gotten back as we are now back live on Facebook. Open down low, Walker can't corral it. Here's Tony Burks with it. Warriors trying to go with the fast break and a foul called on far. And Ian, something that I didn't see a whole lot last year, this crowd is into this game already in this one. Yeah, automatically, I mean, you can feel the energy of you know this entire building like i can hear it through my own speak, <laughs> yeah. like from my own mic to my speak to my uh, ear, ear, uh headphones so love that for this warrior team who have <laughs> has struggled so far this year just one and three trying to start the conference season off on the right direction here's harvey on the right side now top of the key over to drake left side to burks he's got jones down low goes top of the key to harvey three-point shot for harvey got it Bobby Harvey's got six of the Warriors, eight points here in the first half. It's eight to two, Wabash Valley. Jump shot for Moore for OCC, and they answer as Moore gets in the score column. It's eight to four, 17 to play in the first half. Yeah, excellent transition, got it up really quickly, saw nobody was near him, just took an excellent jump shot, uncontested, two points. 
Harvey right side, met there by Talton. Left side of Marcus Garrett. Gets a screen from Jones. Garrett, pull up three-pointer. No good, rebound, tipped out in the hands of Garrett. Garrett, one dribble, goes back up and scores! <laughs> Marcus Garrett got his first points of the night, 10 to four. Wabash looking good already in this first half. Excellent rebound by Jones. Quarter pass, this is gonna be Talton. His jump shot is up and correct. That's Nick Walker, his second basket of the night. And OCC once again answers quickly. It's 10 to six here, 16 and a half to play here in the first half. This is Warrior basketball on A9.1, the bash. Here's Harvey, left side dribble stop of the key over to Raquan Drake. Drake, he'll go with the right hand, picks it up, and called for a travel. Yeah, so a tough that, break there for Raekwon Drake. Yeah, had the hop step there, but his momentum was still going forward, and he had to take that step or else he would have probably would have fallen right on his face. So had to take that extra step, got called for a travel. So Aldi Central with the basketball down by four, approaching 16 minutes left here in the first half. Warriors stay with that three-quarter court pressure in a 3-2 zone here. No correction, it looks like they're going man-to-man. -man. Yes, they are. Drive from Talton, he'll pick it up and throw up a right-handed hook shot, no good. And Garrett and Jones fight for the rebound. Marcus Garrett has it. Warriors kind of a slow jog here up the floor, leading by four. Hands it off Tony Burks, right side. Double zero with a screen from Jones. Burks left hand, spins and take it away by far. Try to get it back and in the hands of OCC. Three on one here for the Blue Knights. Moore over to Walker, he'll lay it in with the right hand. Excellent six, job six points there. for Walker. Excellent job there from uh, J.J. Calcon as to strip the ball and just pass it right up floor. It's three on one break. Easy two points for the Knights. Warriors with the basketball up by two. 15-20 left here in the first half. Here's Harvey. Pull up three for Harvey. Good. Bobby Harvey with nine points. It's 13 to eight Warriors here as we approach 15 left here in the first half. Here's Calicon at the elbow. Here's Talton. Talton drives corner three-point shot from Walker. It's good. So Nick Walker hits his first three of the night. And we got a foul on the rebound, well, I do believe. What are they going to call? I think it might have been just a warning because it was Elijah Farr that mm. just spiked the ball right out of bounds because just held right onto it, just spiked the ball. It was no technical, but they were telling him, hey, knock that off. So Kobe so. Montgomery checks in the game here for Alney Central. Montgomery averaging 11 points per game off the bench for OCC. Warriors lead 13 to 11, 15 minutes left here in this first half. Here's Garrett, top of the key over to Jones. Jones right side to Burks, met there by Moore. Gets a screen from Jones, now goes top of the key, Drake left side to Harvey. Harvey on a screen from Jones, trying to go to the basket, right-handed shot, blocked by Alney Central off the backboard in the hands of Marcus Garrett. Top of the key, Jones left corner, Burks. And we have a whistle. And what are they going to say? They're going to fix the shot clock. Or a shot clock violation. My bad right there on the call. Didn't see the shot clock. So it is going to be. And so the argument was, okay, so trying to figure this out here. Yeah. So what they're going to say is going to be wall bash ball in front of their own basket with four on the shot clock and 14-31 on the game clock. A couple of subs here for Wabash Valley. Amir Yursef checks in as well of, as well of Isaac Stanback. Also, don't forget that only Central also brought back, brought in Cayman Hayes, the freshman from Terre Haute. Burks to inbound finds Garrett. Three to shoot. They got to put up a shot. Garrett over to Yursef and it's a shot clock violation. And Coach Mike Governor not happy about that. Was he as Garrett wasn't sure of the situation there, so it's a turnover for the Warriors. Yeah, bad, bad recognition. I mean, they just stopped the play, give less time on the clock. I'm guessing Garrett only had, thought he only had eight seconds left on the shot clock, realized he only had four. So only Central back on offense, Warriors up by two, 13-11, three points shot off the mark, rebound, Walker goes back up, can't hit, rebound, grab it in the hands of the Warriors. Here they go, two on one. This is Harvey, over to Yersef, lays it in. 15 to 11 Warriors, 14 left here in the first half. It's been a fast paced ball game here so far. In the corner, Nick Walker for three for Alney, no good. Rebound, tipped around into the hands of, are they gonna say a foul? They're gonna no, say no, last no, touch by the Warriors to be Alney basketball. I say, just an excellent job there from Isaac Stan Stanbach, just trying to keep that ball alive. And it looks to be a timeout. We're going to have a timeout taken by Wabash Valley, a full timeout. We'll take one as well back here in 30 seconds on 89.1 The Bash. 
For over a century, Mount Carmel Public Utility Company has served Wabash County with safe and reliable energy. And now we're there for you in a whole new way. Introducing our new Smart Hub app. The free app lets you access your account 24 hours a day right from your fingertips. Receive email notifications when a new bill is issued and pay that bill directly online anywhere, anytime. Access your usage history and more. Download the Smart Hub app today at mtcpu.com. Just another way Mount Carmel Public Utility Company serves our neighbors, families, and friends. The Tri-State source for alternative rock is 89.1 The Bash. Connect with us wherever you are on social. Listen live on our free mobile apps, online or on TuneIn. We are today's hit alternative, 89.1 The Bash. Back here at Spencer Sports Center, 1345 left in the first quarter, and it's Wabash Valley in front of Alney Central College, 15 to 11. Cole Carter and Ian Klingler, and Ian, we've had a back and forth, high intensity game so far in this first half. Yeah, and it's a, it's very fast pace as well. Not a lot of team, you know, both teams not slowing down at all. They want to take advantage of that fast break, and a couple players, you know, two players, one from each team. Uh, Bobby Harvey with nine points already out of the 15 so far, and. Uh, Nick Walker from Only Central. I mean, both of them having both having nine points so far in this first quarter. This is a very good Only team. Five and zero oh coming into this game. Wabash Valley, as we mentioned earlier, one and three. But the Warriors have played played pretty well despite that shot clock violation there. Marcus Garrett. Wabash Valley has done a pretty good job of staying in this game. So it's going to be Only basketball underneath their own basket with 20 seconds on the shot clock. 13:45. On the game clock is correction. Only one inbound in front of the Warrior bench. Calicon to inbound. Finds Hayes. Met there by Harvey. Hayes drives. And a pull-up jump shot from Hayes is no good. Rebound tipped out into the hands of Alney Central. New shot clock and new possession here. Yeah, so that's the problem for the Warriors is they're not boxing out. So the nice taking advantage of this offensive rebounding. Here's a drive on that 10 finished by Isaiah Farr. And it's a two-point game, 15 to 13, Warriors in front, 13-20 left here in the first half. Here's Marcus Garrett, left side open, Harvey, three-point shot, in and out. He almost had that one. He's had a pretty good first half so far with nine points, but that one does not fall. As we approach 13 minutes left here in the first half, Warriors lead 15-13. Top of the key, Montgomery, who's averaging 11 points this year over to Hayes, left side. A step back over the top of the key to Far. Bounce pass and low to Calicon. Calicon shot fake goes up, draws a foul, and one. So a three-point opportunity here for J.J. Calicon. Yeah, an excellent pump fake there from, uh, from Calicon as just really fooled uh, Isaac Stombach, Stombach on that pump fake. Got him in for the foul and one. So a couple of subs made here. First for Alney Central. Number two, Jordan Tuchet checks into the ball game. And I believe... And I believe Justin Boyd just checked in for the Warriors. That will give Tony, breaks a bur Tony Burks a break. So that backwards. Free throw from Calicon. The march of this game stays tied at 15 with under 13 left here in the first half. Here's Garrett. Lost the dribble. Gets it back. Now going left side. Bounce pass over to Stombach. Stombach drives. Puts up a shot. The way goes! And one for Stombach. Tough call there as Cayman Hayes was just trying to play defense and got the blocking call on there. So an and one for, for uh, Stombach. Another sub for Alney Central, number 22, JT Wheeler. So both teams going to their benches early in this one. On the floor for the Warriors, Stombach, Boyd, Harvey, Garrett, and Yusuf. Here with 12.42 left in the first half. Warriors lead 17-15. And one attempt here for Stombach is no good. Rebound, Alney Central. And something very interesting, Wabash Valley did not have any rebounders on that free throw attempt. They wanted to make sure they got that full court mm -hmm. trap, whether a make or a miss. A 10 second violation. Don't see that happen very often. The Warriors create one here. Is, it was JT Wheeler for Alney Central. Not aware of that. Good job by the Warriors defensively to cause a turnover. So the Warriors have the basketball 12 and a half to play in the first half at 17-15. Yeah, and you saw that from the ladies game. You know, they actually had a 10 second call because of their tight defense. So. It's a great thing for the men's team to actually get to get one as well. Justin Boyd, top of the key, three-point shot, no good. A rebound into the hands of Garrett. He'll try to go back up. He does. Can't hit, and the rebound into the hands of Alney Central with Tanette. 
Here come the Blue Knights. We approach 10 minutes left here in the first half. Warriors lead by two. Here's Moore, right side over to Montgomery, left side to Calicon. Calicon will drive, corner to Wheeler. Wheeler dribbles, picks it up, met there by Yusuf in the corner now. Jeanette, Jeanette drives, puts up a tough shot and draws a foul. So that will send Jordan Jeanette to the free throw line. Mike Carpenter not really happy about that call. He thought that, uh, that the uh, all essential player was losing control because that was JT Wheeler, or no. It was Jeanette, it was, it was uh, Jeanette, it was, yeah, Jeanette. Jordan Jeanette. Yeah, it was Jordan Jeanette. They said that Jeanette was losing control. And one, of, so. one of those close calls, but instead it goes in favor of all these So two free throws now and a two point Warrior lead. First one, no good. 11.55 left here in the first quarter. Wabash Valley leads Alney Central 17 to 15. Second free throw by Jeanette. He dribbles on its way. And no good, this is some bowl. Three bound Yusuf. Under 12 to play here in the first half. Warriors up by two. Here's Garrett directing traffic, going left. Bounce pass right to Boyd. Boyd taps the key over to Harvey. Left side now to Comstock. And pass fake here as Stombach drives over to Boyd. Boyd right side, Stombach for three, no good, rims out, tipped into the hands of Harvey, and they're gonna call a foul on Bobby Harvey. Second time Harvey's gotten called for a push off on a rebound, and Mike Carpenter might have to take his, one of his best players off the floor, he's gonna have to do that. Harvey will take a seat, and that will bring in Jawan Witherspoon. Yeah, not, and I'm not saying that was a bad call, I'm not saying it was a good call, but Bobby Harvey, did not like that call, and, Car and Carpenter was not happy with that either. Well, he had a call just like that earlier in the game. The win against him, so only with the basketball down by two. Under 12 to play here in the first half. Three, or, or thought about a three, and Jeanette thought a little too much as he traveled there. Or the traveling violation. So coming in for only central for Jordan DeChunt is uh, Elisha Farr. Farr's got two points in this game, so 11-15 left here in the first half. Four years lead, 17-15. Here's Stombach, left side, Witherspoon. Witherspoon, he had Boyd back door, didn't see him, now finds Marcus Garrett. Garrett, pull-up three-point shot is short. Rebound in the hands of Yusuf. He'll go up and can't hit. Rebound to Farr of Aldi Central, and here come the Blue Knights. 11 minutes left here in the first half. 17-15 Warriors. Here's Moore almost falling down, guarded by Garrett. Top of the key, Montgomery. Moore going left side, he's a lefty. Run by Garrett. Double team there by Garrett and Witherspoon. Now steps back, step back jumper, leans into Witherspoon. Shot is up, no call. Rebound, Yusuf. All the fans want a call there and no whistle. So here come the Warriors. Garrett at the other end, puts up a floater in the lane. No good, rebound, Yusuf. And he'll go one dribble and try to go back up, but he does and score. What an excellent play there by Yusuf. Just using the body, had probably three or four uh, night defenders there. Montgomery on the drive, almost blocked, and they're going to call. What are they going to call here? Goaltending. And that's uh, not a very smart move there. As Marcus Garrett's going to take a seat, and he's gassed. So Tony Burke's going to come in. They call goaltending, so the basket of, will count. Who, who, who got the points, though, is my question for all these central. Can't tell. We will try to figure that out later. So 19 17, Warriors in front as we approach 10 minutes left here. In the first half, Warriors played pretty well offensively in this game. Witherspoon, pull up three. Good! <laughs> I'm not like better than a great three point shot. Just swish. <laughs> Warriors up by five, 22 17. Calicon in the corner over to Montgomery, three point shot, and they'll answer with one. <laughs> That's Col Kobe Montgomery with three points, and it's 22 20. Under 10 to go here in the first half. Birch to Stombach, left side of Witherspoon. He'll cross over and pick it up. Now double team, top of the key, Yusuf, right side to Tony Burks. Burks thought about a three, now goes in the corner to Boyd. His three point shot, short. Yusuf gets the offensive board and puts it in. Six points for Amir in this first half, 24 20. Warriors in front. You'll see that guy's name all around for the boards. Amir Yusuf, Amir Yusuf, the sophomore from Louisville, is doing an excellent job on the board. Boyd takes it away for the Warriors, and here comes Wabash Valley, leading 24-20. Nine minutes left here in the first half. 
Witherspoon with the basketball, gets a screen from Yusuf, pick and roll with Yusuf, he'll go up and put it in! I'm, hey. tell <laughs> I'm telling you, watch this Amir Yusuf. Unbelievable length. He's got eight points balling here in this first half. Warriors up by six, under nine to go in the first half. Alney Central with the basketball. Moore directing traffic here for Alney. Crossover goes left. Method by Witherspoon. Left side far. Pull up three point shot is good. Isaiah Far with Yusuf not guarding him. And as far as got five points. Yusuf didn't think he could shoot from that far. No, I don't. And to be honest, I didn't think he, he <laughs> could shoot from that far either. Well, now we know. 26 <laughs> 23, Warriors in front under eight and a half to play in the first half. Here's Burks. Right side, crossover top of the key to Stombach. Stombach directing traffic now. Left side, Witherspoon hit a three just a few minutes ago. Six to shoot. Witherspoon drives, deflected, and taken away by far of Alney Central. Blue Knights have numbers. It's a two on one. Moore at the other end. What a shot by Moore, and he got the foul. The correction, we're going to say goaltend. No foul, I don't think, on the play. Uh, we'll get a call here. Nope, they will call the foul. It's going to be on Tony Burke, so two points for Moore and a free throw to come to convert the end one. I think they were talking about him getting his head, possibly. Mm -hmm. So so a couple of subs made here. Yusuf will come out of the game. Some good minutes there by Amir Yusuf. Carl Jones back in. On the floor now for Wabash Valley, Justin Boyd, Tony Burks, Carl Jones, Juan Witherspoon, and Draquan, uh, Kwan Drake, I should say. Misses the free throw, so the Warriors hang on to their one point lead. Eight minutes left here in the first half. Warriors lead 26 25. Here's Drake, left side of Witherspoon. Witherspoon hands it off to Burks and almost taken away. Burks saves it from half court. Warriors maintain possession, crossover, and an offensive foul on Carl Jones. Or correction, no, it's going to be a foul on Alney Central. Thought he was going to point at Jones, but instead it's going to go against Isaiah Farr for Alney Central. And I believe that's going to be Farr's second foul. And I think what the officials were telling him, that he was pushing off of Carl Jones. Carl Jones was trying to set a screen, or a possible screen, and Farr just kind of shoved him out of there. Under eight to play in the first half, Warriors lead 26-25. Here's Burks, right wing, directing traffic. Now get the screen from Jones. Pull up three for Burks. It's too hard, a rebound in the hands of all these central. Here's Talton with it. Talton left side, bounce pass Montgomery, top of the key, Walker for three. That's short, rebound, Witherspoon of Wabash Valley. 7.20 left here in the first half. Warriors lead 26-25. Witherspoon drives. Puts up a shot. No good. Rebound Montgomery. One on two. Now two on two for Alney Central. Montgomery by himself. And a charge. Woo! Justin Boyd draws the charge. And a big takeaway there for Wabash Valley. I didn't think he was set, but mm -hmm. the officials gave him the benefit of the doubt. Excellent call there. Well, that big roar was the Warrior fans appreciating it and the Alney Central fans not agreeing with it. So Justin Boyd <laughs> with some good minutes there. Hit a three-pointer and then draws that charge. And so Marcus Garrett checks in the game for Justin Boyd. On the floor now for the Warriors. Looks like their starters minus Witherspoon is in there instead of Harvey, who's got two fouls on the bench. Left side, Garrett. Right there by Talton. Top of the key to Drake, right side now to Burks. Looking for Jones down low, now finds Garrett, top of the key, 15 to shoot. Here's Drake in the corner. Back top of the key to Burks. 10 to shoot for the Warriors. Drake, uh, Burks drives and travels. Good defense by Alney Central down low, and they'll get the ball back. Yeah, and there's a nice big tussle there as we're gonna get a timeout there. Timeout taken here on the floor with 6.50 left. Warriors lead 26-25. We'll take one as well, back in 30 seconds. First National Bank, we are committed to providing our customers with superior customer service. Whether in person or over the phone, our goal is to provide a positive customer experience each and every day. Give us a call or stop in one of our local branches today. Carter and Ian Klingler here at Spencer Sports Center where the Warriors lead Alney Central 26-25. Under seven left here in the first half. 
And Ian, it, it's, it's been really a barn burner so far, but a highly intense first half so far here in Mount Carmel. Yeah, well, I mean, it's I mean, it, besides the score being 26-25, it's been a very physical and fast-paced mm -hmm. game, so you can't just look at the score and say, oh man, it's been slow pace, you know, not a lot of stuff's been going on. A lot of stuff, a lot of action has happened, you know, we've had a couple goal tens, we've had a shot clock go from eight to four on a, <laughs> on a block that everybody was thinking, wait, what? Well, the most impressive thing here is Holy Central's a pretty darn good ball club, and all that shot has come into this game and have, have kept place with them so far in this first half. They lead by one, 26-25. Under seven left here in the first half. Yeah, and I think that really has to deal with a uh, couple of the top scorers. Bobby Harvey, I know he's on the bench with two fouls. Mm -hmm. And other than that, uh, Amir Youssef, who's just been cleaning played, up played offensive big boards. Minutes. Step back three for Moore, a short rebound into the hands of Marcus Garrett. Two on two here for the Warriors. Garrett will pick it up and now find Jones. One dribble, Jones goes in, tries to throw it down, and an offensive foul. And we've got a technical down low. Two, a you, talk, you talked about it, Ian Jones. <laughs> uh, that was Jones going down low. It's a double technical. It's going to go on Carl Jones. And I believe Tinchy, as you mentioned, yeah. for Alney Central. Jordan Tinchy. Yeah, they were just they were just jawing back and forth, back and forth. And the officials just said, we've had enough. We're teeing both of you up. So, well, Carl Jones just had one of the meanest dribble and take and try to dunk I've seen in a long time. Took one <laughs> dribble, lowered a shoulder, and tried to dunk that in the next week, but it rimmed out. And they called the offensive foul and the technical foul. So, so uh, I mean, he looked he looked like Shaq. Up. Just, <laughs> I mean, the, you're right. The Lakers kind of Shaq, just using his body to get in there, and you know, was just too much. So it will be only central ball here. 6.24 left in the first half. Warriors lead 26-25. Inbounds pass almost stolen by Burks. And the Blue Knights have it. Looks like they did take out Carl Jones from that technical, but Dechante still in the game. Burks almost takes it away. Only central still with it. 15 to shoot, 6.10 to play in the first half. Warriors lead by one. Here's Moore left side. Down low to Shauncey. Down low, turn, shoots, and can't hit. Rebound Garrett. Here comes Marcus Garrett, trying to go all the way to the other end. Garrett puts it up. Put it in. Going coast to coast. Marcus Garrett's got four, and the Warrior lead is three. 28-25, under six to go here in the first half. An excellent job there from Marcus Garrett. Just was just unfazed, just came with the contact. Get that easy layup in. All right side, Walker down low to Calicon. Calicon goes baseline, and blocked from behind, they call a foul. Tough call there. That was number 32 for the Warriors. Darius Osborne, who checked in the game just a few minutes ago. The block from behind, and they call a foul. Yeah, and it looked like a clean block from behind, but might have gotten a bit of the hand of, uh, of uh, Calicon. And so he's at the line for two. That's the eighth foul on the Warriors, so two free throws here for Calicon. First one good. Three points tonight for J.J. Calicon. Warriors are led by Bobby Harvey with nine points, but he's on the bench with two fouls. I mean, Yusuf also on the bench. He's got eight points. Calicon's second free throw is good. Four points for him. The Warrior lead back down to one, 28-27. Five and a half to play here in the first half. Burks over to Osborne, left side to Garrett. Top of the key, Drake, right side Burks. Burks with the screen from Drake. Now over to Osborne. Warriors swinging the ball very well here. Witherspoon pull up three left side, in and out. Rebound Warrior, or rebound Blue Knights, I should say. At the other end, that is Telton. Or Telton, I should say. His first basket to fall and only Central, their first lead of the game, 28-29. Yeah, five minutes just, left. He just had nobody around him. He just went all the way to the basket. No one even tried to contest him. Garrett, pull up three. Good! <laughs> Garrett with seven. Warriors back in front, 31-29. That only lead did not last very long. Under five to play here in the first half. Here's Moore, working on Berg, gets a screen, now goes right. Moore, going with the right hand, puts up a left-handed shot, and it's no good, but a foul on the shot on Tony Burks. And Burks not happy, but and that's he leaned. I mean, Tony's he, second foul. Yeah, he leaned into him and, you know, just blew right by him, and Tony knows he's coming out of the ball game, so kind of a tough break for him. We'll have another sub here for Wabash Valley, looks like. Lyman Johnson will check in. Free throw is no good. So Johnson into the game here for Wabash Valley. 
Only on one hand, a circle from the free throw line. They missed their last three free throw attempts. So Warriors lead 31-29, four and a half to play in the first quarter. First half, I should say. Second free throw is good by Moore. He's got five. It's 31-30. <laughs> no, nobody was was going to inbound, uh, gonna go get the inbound ball from Marcus Garrett. So, luckily, somebody did. Here's Osborne, Warriors with the basketball. Drake squares, goes to the basket, and a blocking foul on the floor is the call. And so Warriors will maintain possession up by one with four and a half to play in the first half. And it's going to be uh, Drake shooting two free throws here. Foul was on Nick Walker. I believe that is, yes, that is his first foul of the game. So nine points and a foul for Nick Walker, the sophomore from Henryville, Indiana. Drake's first free throw over one-on-one one is good. Drake's first point of the night. Drake, a 6'5 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. Drake's second free throw is in and out. Rebound Montgomery of Olney Central. 32-30 Warriors lead. 4.15 left here in the first half. Warriors have played pretty well so far. Can they keep it up though is the question. Here's Moore on the screen from Garrett. Crossover pull up jump shot from Moore is no good. Rebound Osborne. There's three guys around and I think it might have been uh, Johnson that jumped up in the air and scared the other two. So luckily they got the ball and got the rebound. Here's a drive from Johnson, an offensive foul call on Raekwon Drake. So that's going to be Drake's first foul, I do believe. And once again, another offensive foul and a turnover for Wabash Valley. Justin Boyd checks back into the game. He'll check in for, for uh, Witherspoon, who's had a pretty good game so far. Under four to play in the first half. Warriors lead 32-30. Only with the basketball. Here's Walker directing traffic. Calicon south of the key. He'll try to drive. Now steps back. Double team by the Warriors. Now left side. Walker. Or correction. That's Talton. Talton down the little Walker. Walker turns. Shoots. And can't hit. Rebound. Justin Boyd. Here come the Warriors. Up by two. Three and a half to play in the first half. Garrett pull up. Jump shot short. Gets his own rebound. What a play. And the Warriors will have a second chance here offensively, 15 to shoot. And he, and he told uh, Coach Carpenter, you know, my bad, I kind of rushed that shot. So hopefully he'll get a better look. Garrett, three-point shot. That's a pretty good look, and it rolls out. <laughs> Drake with the offensive board and lays it in. And a timeout taken by Aldi Central, and will take one as well. Back in 30 seconds. I didn't want to go to community college because it was too small, too limiting. I wanted a place where I could expand my horizons and gain experiences for a strong future. Where I could meet people from other places and learn about them. A college choice that meant a strong start, not huge debt. Where I would have the support I needed. Where teachers knew my name and worked with me on a personal level. And people were ready and available to help me plan my future. That's why I choose my community college! Big thanks to Bryce Klingler back at the station. Also, Drew Pouton running the stream force and Alec Vaughn running the camera tonight. Cole Carter and Ian Klingler as the Warriors of Wabash Valley lead only Central 34-30. Three minutes left here in the first half. Thank you for tuning in rather on Facebook Live or 89.1 The Bash. Here's Calicon of Alley Central left side. Got to buy Osborne, Osborne down low and a whistle blows and a offensive whistle against the Blue Knights. I think what they were talking about Might have been was a three-second lane violation. It seemed like I think they were pointing at either the out of bounds, like Talton was going out of bounds, going back in bounds, and made contact with the ball. He might have. Warriors with the ball up by three. Here's Drake right side, Garrett under three to play in the first half, and another offensive foul on the Warriors. This one is going to go on Raekwon Drake, his second foul. Might have been a moving screen, just mm. kind of pushed him while Garrett was driving to the basket. So Isaiah Stombach will check into the game now for Drake for Wabash Valley. Tough break for Raekwon, his second foul of the night. 34-30, Warriors in front. Two and a half left here in the first quarter. A low scoring game, but a very intense one of that. Here's Moore, top of the key. Over to uh, Walker, right side to Talton. Talton will drive with the right hand, goes up against Johnson and blocks on the backboard and a late whistle on the foul. Coach Mike Carpenter can't believe it. And they're going to call out on L.J. Johnson 
It's going to be his first foul and two shots coming up here for C.E. Talton of Alley Central. And I don't think Tom, or jo sorry, Johnson was even close to that play. I, I understand he just kind of breezed right by him, but I don't think he ever made contact with him. Well, the official says otherwise. As that first free throw <laughs> is good by Talton. Makes it a 34-31 game. Second free throw by Talton is good as well. So four points for Talton. And it's 34-32. Warriors in front. 2.20 uh, left here in the first half. Here's Boyd, right side on handoff from Garrett, back over to Johnson. Johnson crossed over, goes up with the right hand, can't hit, gets his own rebound, lost it into the hands of Steinbach of the Warriors, and he'll draw the foul. So the Warriors once again with a second chance opportunity here. And yeah, that was an excellent job there from Steinbach getting the board, just going up strong and getting the foul. First free throw from Steinbach is no good. Warriors having some struggles from the free throw line in this game so far. 2.08 left. Wabash Valley leads all essential 34 32. Second one from Stanback is good. Three points for Isaiah Stanback and it's 35 32. Warriors, two minutes left here in the first half. Here's Moore. He'll cross the timeline, goes to the left side, guarded there by Garrett. Bounce pass to the little Montgomery. Montgomery turns, fades, and looks like Kobe Bryant. No, that's Kobe Montgomery scoring too. <laughs> nice little turnaround fadeaway. One point Warrior lead. Garrett drives, kicks it now out to Boyd. Boyd traveled, and he knew it. Yep. Wasn't sure what he wanted to do. And Justin Boyd, the sophomore from Whitney Young, Chicago. Traveling violation. And a tough break as this gives OCC a chance to take the lead here near the end of the first half. I believe Alney has only led once in this game, and that was when it was 29-28. Don't quote me on that. But it's been Warriors leading almost the majority of this first half. Colicon down low, will try to go baseline, goes around and blocked. Gets it back, goes up and draws a foul. It was blocked down low by Stanback, and they're going to call that foul on Osborne. So, two free throws coming up here for Calicon. Yeah, and an excellent job there. Didn't call the foul on the first block from uh, St Standback, but they did indeed call a foul on Darius Osborne on the second attempt. So two shots for Calicon. First one is short. All these centrals also had their struggles from the free throw line. I think everybody's just having a bad free throw day. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Wednesday. Free throws aren't working all night. <laughs> I, might, I might go to the free throw line and, and airball a couple free throws. <laughs> Got to gotta blend in, I guess. <laughs> Second one here for Calicon is good. Ties it up at 35 with 90 seconds left here in the first half. That's Witherspoon, I believe, checked back in for... Yep, Witherspoon back in. He's got the ball right here. Came in for Osborne. Top of Keith Johnson, now Boyd, right side, Garrett. Garrett gets a ball, screen dribbles left, pull up, jumps out from the free throw line, short, rebound tipped out to Boyd. Boyd, three-point shot, no good. <laughs> rebound, Montgomery of OCC. Here they come the Blue Knights. Here's Moore behind the back, now crossover top of the key, Montgomery. Three-point shot, in and out, rebound to the hands of Stanback. Under a minute left here, tie game at 35, here in the first half. Driving is Garrett. His shot is good. What a shot by Marcus Garrett. He's got nine. Warriors back in front. Montgomery got the other man. Lost it. Got it back. Now in the hands of Moore. And the Blue Knights will set up their offense. 20 to shoot. Here, 43 seconds left. Warriors lead 37-35. Moore drives and draws a hard foul. I believe I'll be on Justin Boyd. And it yeah. will. Say Marcus Garrett a little slow to get up as he went down on the ground and might have probably scraped, scraped his knees, kind of got maybe floor burn on his knees there, just kind of a bit slow. Marcus Garrett, I like the way he's played so far in this first half. Absolutely. I mean, he's got nine points, and he's been really helping out this team ball handling-wise, setting up this offense. Jalen Moore hits the first free throw for all essential. Makes it a 37-36 game with 38.7 seconds left here in the first half. Or the leading scorer of this OCC team, averaging 19 points per game as well. Second free throw for Moore is good. So, quick sub here for Aldi Central. Kim and Hayes checks in. 38.7 seconds, Warriors have the ball in a tie game. Here's Johnson with the basketball. He's bet there by Hayes. Warriors will try to 
at least hold for one last shot on their end. Still about an eight second differential between the shot and game clock. Down to 13 on the shot clock, 21 on the game clock. Tie game with 37. Ball screen from Stan back. Here's Johnson. Crossover. Goes to the lane. Right-handed shot is no good. Rebound tipped out in the hands of Aldi Central. Nine seconds. And they've got the basketball. Talton over to Hayes. Hayes fades away and hits with three seconds. Here's Boyd. He'll fire. It's Garrett from midcourt. No good. And that is how this crazy first half ends with Aldi Central in front, 39 to 37. Channel 15 is now available on the Roku and Apple TV smart devices. Log on to Facebook.com slash My15News to learn more. For over a century, Mount Carmel Public Utility Company has served Wabash County with safe and reliable energy. And now we're there for you in a whole new way. Introducing our new Smart Hub app. The free app lets you access your account 24 hours a day right from your fingertips. Receive email notifications when a new bill is issued and pay that bill directly online anywhere, anytime. Access your usage history and more. Download the Smart Hub app today at mtcpu.com. Just another way Mount Carmel Public Utility Company serves our neighbors, families, and friends. Between two IECC schools here tonight. Two of the four going at it. Once again, Wall actually back at it again on Saturday against Lincoln Land right here at Spencer Sports Center, then on the road on Tuesday at Lewis and Clark. So for OCC, I mean, they'll play on that same Tuesday, but they will head over to Ren Lake. I've actually been in Ren Lake's place before in my eighth grade year. Our mm -hmm. team went to state, we played yep. there, and man, it was, I mean, it's a packed mm -hmm. gym. and no, it might be tough. And a pretty pretty good crowd tonight for both sides. Oh, yeah, absolutely. For, for this early in the regular season, a pretty nice crowd. So second half underway. Wabash Valley going, or correction, only going right to left here if you're watching on Facebook Live. Thanks to everybody tuning in tonight. Whether it's on Facebook or the radio. Calicon down low, and just like that, only has their largest lead of the night. It's 41-37, six for Calicon. Here's Tony Burks, hands off to Marcus Garrett. Garrett spins down low, and a call for a carry. So yeah. not the way you want to start the second half for the Warriors. Yeah, and I was I was confused on what the play on the what the call was from the official and saw the carry. I was thinking, you know, there's I'm like, that's not a carry. I was and then I re realized that, you know, he did actually mm. carry and excellent spin move, but just carried the ball. 30 seconds down in this first half. Only central in front, 41-37. Their largest lead of the half. Of the game, I should say. Here's Walker, top of the key at Talton. Both teams going with their starters here. Mismatch here with Talton, guarded by Jones. Down low to Farr. Farr, and a travel. There is going to be a travel or an offensive foul as he put a shoulder into Marcus Garrett, but they call him for the steps, and WVC with the basketball. Marcus Garrett almost tossed it to Tony Burks. Burks wasn't, was looking at uh, Mike Carpenter for the play. He didn't realize that Garrett had thrown the ball in and Another moving offensive screen. foul. That's going to be on Raekwon Drake. That's his third. Yep. And not going to go to his bench quite yet here. 19 minutes here in the second half to go. Wabash Valley trails 37-41. Cole Carter and Ian Klingler here at Wabash Valley College. Here's Moore. He'll drive over behind the head pass to Farr. Far now working on Jones. Shot fake, nice move by Far. Can't bank it in. Rebound to Calicon. Calicon fades away and scores. Excellent job there by Calicon. Getting the offensive rebound, just putting up a good hook shot there. Got over two of Wabash Valley hands. Nine points for JJ Calicon. Warriors trail by six, 37-43. Drake drives out to Garrett. Garrett fires a three. Big shot for Marcus Garrett. Ooh. Warriors look at that one. 12 points for Garrett. Excellent job. I mean, he struggled at the three-point line, just one for five. Excellent job getting him started with a three here in the second half. Back to a three-point game, 43-40. Only central in front. 18 minutes left here in the first half. Here's Talton, top of the key, Calicon. Calicon drives on Drake, puts up a shot over the hand of Drake, and it goes in. What a shot by J.J. Calicon. He's got 11 for the Blue Knights. Back to a five-point game, 18 minutes left here in the second, quarter, second half. 
Here's Burks. Directing traffic now will look to his right. Gets a screen from Jones. Burks drives, trying to find Jones, tipped away into the hands of Drake. Drake scores. Excellent recognition, and looks like a timeout by Wabash Valley in yeah. 30 seconds. Timeout for Wabash Valley. We'll take one as well. Back in 30 seconds. At First National Bank, we are committed to providing our customers with superior customer service. Whether in person or over the phone, our goal is to provide a positive customer experience each and every day. Give us a call or stop in one of our local branches today. Alney Central 42-45 under 18 left here in the first half, or I keep saying first half, second half, <laughs> here in the first conference matchup of the season of the year for these two teams. That's right, I almost said second quarter earlier. I'm like, wait a minute, they play halves. Get, college get, basketball. Getting confused. <laughs> Here's more crossover met there by Burks. Bounce pass to Calicon. Calicon goes to the left hand, and a foul going to be called here on Isaiah Stanback. Isaac Stanback, I should say. Second Warrior foul in the second half. Three-point only lead. Far fires for three on the left side. In and out, rebound in the hands of Harvey. Warriors trying to push the floor here, and they'll slow it down over to Marcus Garrett. Kind of weird that you see them slow down. Mm -hmm. Usually they're in their fast-paced offense. Moving it around here. It's out the key over to Burks. He's scoreless in this game. Works on a screen from Jones, dribbles left, tries to drive, hands it over to stand back. Down low, Jones, nine to shoot. Jones goes up, can't hit, rebound tipped up, and into the hands of Calicon of Alney Central. Here comes Moore, driving in, goes all the way to the basket, and a hard foul on Marcus Garrett. That was a huge, that was a very hard foul by Marcus Garrett. Just went up, met up top with uh, Jalen Moore, and Moore go to the line for two. Well, that'll be Garrett's first foul. Third on the Warriors in the second half. So first of two shots here for Moore. First one good. This is a problem. Like I said, you know, you can't, can't get a lot of fouls for this team. Gets a lot of your best players in foul trouble. Now Garrett with his first one. Moore hits them both. He's got nine. And the Blue Knights with their largest lead of the game. Five points, 42-47. Under 17 left here in the second half. Harvey top of key to Burks. Burks left side to Stanback. Stanback drives, right-handed shot, contested, no good. Jones there for the tip, can't get it. Rebound into the hands of Stanback, fighting for it, and turns over to Jones. Jones will throw it down. Ooh, no, he did not. Oh, man. Well, he's 6'10". <laughs> He'll take that. Throw that was a three-point game, trying to get this crowd fired up. Threw it down with authority. 47-44. Approaching 16 minutes left here in the second half. Far step back over to Talton. Talton goes with the right hand, puts up a shot, got a block in the hands of stand back in Wabash Valley. Warriors on the run here, down by three. Garrett thought about the three, now goes left hand, underhand, shot is good! What a great reverse layup. Unbelievable. 14 for Garrett, one point game. More pull up jumper, no good. Rebound Garrett, can the Warriors retake the lead? Here's Stan back at the other end. Euro step. Warriors in front. Oh, oh, oh. Man. It's a 6 0 run for Wabash Valley. And the Warriors have reclaimed the lead. 15 and a half left here in the second half. This crowd is going wild. Calicon left side to Moore. Nice move to the basket. Picks up his dribble. Blocked by Jones. Here come the Warriors once again. Garrett to Burks. Burks to the basket, back out to Garrett. Garrett, three-point shot is short, and he'll try to save his own shot and can't get in. Mike Carpenter says, Marcus, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Nothing but air. He said, I had it, coach. I had it. What a run there by the Warriors. Get some momentum going in their direction as they retake the lead, 47 or 48 to 47. Here, 15-13 left in the second half. Cayman Hayes checked in for Jalen Moore. So, get a new ball handler for only Central. 
15 minutes left, one point Warrior lead. Calicon, short, gets his own rebound. Shot fake goes back up now, wants to kick it out. There's Talton, bounce pass to Far. Far fades away, can hit. Rebound, Carl Jones of Wabash Valley. Here come the Warriors. Garrett, wants a ball screen from Jones. Now left side, Harvey. Harvey, pull up three point shot from Harvey. Is no good. Rebound, Albany Central, it's Talton. Talton going to try to go coast to coast over to Calicon. Calicon lays it in and the foul. Only back in front. And you saw Mike Carpenter just point right at Bobby Harvey and say, that's on you. And Harvey said, you know what? Yep, that's right. Took an ill-advised shot. Gave OCC back the lead. Well, the Warriors have made a handful of mistakes in this second half, but it seems like anytime they do, they're able to make up for it with a couple of nice plays offensively. So a couple of subs made here for both teams. And we'll see for the first time tonight for the Warriors. Trevin Hamilton checks in. So that's the 10th or the 12th Warrior to play in this ball game tonight. I'm running out of players. <laughs> I'm out of room on my score sheet. Someone's going to have to get hurt or something. Calicon converts the end one. Two point only lead. He's got 14. 14 and a half to play here in the ball game. Warriors trail by two, 48-50. Hamilton hands it off left side, Harvey. Harvey over to, this is going to be stand back at the other end. Stand back, shot fake, goes up, can't hit, tries to tip it in, can't get his own rebound, and a foul down low, no shot. Foul on the floor with stand back in the offensive board. The foul be on uh, Jordan to chun it. That'll be his second foul. Hamilton inbounds to Birch in the corner, back over to Hamilton. Gets a screen from Stanback, now drives over in the corner. Harvey goes baseline, Harvey can't hit, rebound, only central. Might have been blocked by Calicon. Calicon with the basketball left side, Hayes shot fake. Hayes is going to be fouled by Hamilton as he got a hand of his jersey. <laughs> Hayes was the one who hit that fadeaway shot at the end of the first half. It was, a, it was a good shot. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was surprised. I was worried. I was thinking, oh, what is he doing? Well, still with about five seconds left. Could have got a layup, but instead went, went for the fadeaway and got to fall. That gave only a two-point lead at the half. And they have a two-point lead here in the second half with 14 minutes left. Warriors going to a zone here. Left side, Hayes. Hayes met there by Hamilton. Eight to shoot for Alney. Hayes, crossover. Goes to the basket and just over the head of Jones and it goes in. Wow. Just put a nice floater and he kind of met Carl Jones and said, you know what, I'm just going to throw this ball up high and you ain't going to get it. Hamilton hands it off to Harvey, left side. Harvey throw a weave over to Burks. Burks, who's scoreless tonight, will cross over. Pick it up, goes to the basket. No shot, foul on the floor. Tony Burks with the dribbler there. Foul will be on... Uh, C.E. Tall and timeout, maybe? Possibly. I'm not sure what the situation is here. And so we'll have a timeout. <laughs> timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well back in 30 seconds. Channel 15 is now available on the Roku and Apple TV smart devices. Log on to Facebook.com slash My15News to learn more. So it will be Alney Central Ball underneath their own basket. They're going left to right. So watch on Facebook Live. Correction, it's going to be Wabash basketball. Come yeah. on, I got my halves confused here. <laughs> Too much basketball tonight. There's so much basketball, so little time. Been a great night as well. Oh, yeah. Hamilton inbound, finds Harvey. Harvey stepped back top the key over to Burks. Burks dribbles right, wanting a screen from Yusuf. He'll get it. Now he'll go with the right hand, picks it up, puts up a shot. Won't bounce in, tries to tip it in, and he does. That was Tony Burks. <laughs> so Tony's first point of the night. Back to a two-point game, 52-50. Only in front here, 13 left in the second half. Warriors in the zone, lob pass back, the winners hit the by the Warriors. Great read there by 
Stomp, Isaac Stombach. Stambach drives, puts up a shot, ties it, cap the bucket, and a foul. Isaac Stambach with the basket, and a chance to put the Warriors in front with a free throw. <laughs> just saw the official with the foul. He just bonked his head over. Kind of a face shot from Stombach, I'm guessing. As he can makes the three-point play. Robots Valley with the lead now. So Stan Mack indeed converts. He's got eight points, and the Warriors up 53-52. Isaac Stan Mack's done a great job off the bench tonight for the Warriors. And a couple of players in foul trouble on the floor for Wabash Valley. It's Hamilton, Burks, Stan Mack, Yusuf, and Harvey. Here's Moore, left side, guarded by Hamilton, top of the key to Calicon. Calicon drives, puts up a shot, and puts Oli Central back in front. And he's just having a great night, 16 points. The only worry about him is the three fouls that he has, but still playing with three fouls and still heating up here in this second half. Well, he's been all his best player by far. Here's Harvey, right side. Top of the key to Yusuf. Yusuf left side, Hamilton. Hamilton dribbles right, now finds Harvey. Harvey tries to go to the right side, picks it up, top of the key, Burks. Left side, Hamilton, he'll fire a three-point shot. It's short, rebound, only central. How about shot there from Hamilton, just didn't bury it. One, or one point, Blue Knight lead here under 12 to play in the second half. Lob pass, Calicon down low, guarded by Harvey. Calicon, right hand goes up and scores. Nothing really Bobby Harvey can do. Kind of a mismatch, I mean, he already has. Three fouls. Yeah, I and mean, then he has three fouls, so nothing really much he can do about that. Just has to let him go. Here's the Warriors down by three. Trey, or Tony Burks. Gets a screen from Yusuf, trying to go with the pick and roll. Burks will drive, and blocked by far. Here come the Blue Knights, and taken away by Harvey. Harvey to Yusuf, lays it out. Oh! oh! Missed the lane, I thought he had it. Blue Knights have numbers here on offense. Moore fires a three-point shot, and it's no good. Yusuf the rebound. And you got to hate when the Warriors don't convert on a wide-open opportunity right there. Unbelievable. Hamilton, Harvey, three-point shot. Good! Bobby Harvey ties it up at 56. Under 11 to play here in the second half. Calicon down low, guarded by Harvey, turns and scores. My goodness, what a shot. And Harvey was saying, help, I need help. I can't <laughs> foul him. I gotta let him go. Calicon's got 20 points and all he's got a two point lead. Hamilton. Right to left, over to Harvey. Three-point shot for Harvey. Wabash in front! <laughs> Marcus Garrett's reaction from the scores box is he's getting ready to check in. This unbelievable reaction. Here's Moore on a screen with Burks guarding him. Wabash up by a point. Far down low, guarded by Yusef. Yusef straight up, now out to Talton. Top the key, Mount Gurley, swinging around. Down low, Calicon lost it. Warriors will have it. And might be called back. I think it might have hit off of. Well, the officials are going to talk Stand about it. Leg. Looks like Marcus Garrett yep. and Raekwon Drake back in the game when they overturn the call. No wins to replay either there. They overturn the call. Mike Carpenter can't believe it. And Marcus Garrett trying to relax his players here. 10 02 left. I think he's trying to calm down Mike Carpenter well, as well. <laughs> Warrior fans not happy about it. The, the student yeah. section, they're, they're letting their boos out. The baseball players over there on the now, far now, side. Now the officials are still talking about it. They might, are they going to overturn it again? I don't, I don't think. No. I think. I think they're... They're going to warn Mike Carpenter and he needs to be careful. He does have to be careful. And I think they're talking about the shot clock maybe. Mike Carpenter doesn't need to get a tee right here with a one-point Warrior lead. Ten minutes left. He's trying to he's trying to straighten it out. So they'll put nine seconds back on the shot clock. So nine, as you mentioned, Ian, nine seconds on the shot clock here for all essential. Ten minutes left in the one-point Warrior lead. Moore will inbound, finds Talton. Talton left side. Picks it up, bounce pass over to, to Montgomery. Montgomery blocked from behind. Oh! Warriors have it in numbers. Here comes Burks on the other end. Burks puts it up and puts it in. Oh! Unbelievable. Oh! And, a, 
And we have a whistle on the play. And I think the Warrior bench thought it was a timeout, but I'm not sure what the whistle was. Like, what? No explanation. No explanation at all. I don't but regardless, three-point Warrior lead under 10 minutes to play here in the second half. And this crowd is fired up for the Warriors. Got to love it. This is college basketball on Mount Carmel. Yeah, I don't know what's I'm going on. I'm getting fired up up here. You know? I want to go, go play out there. I'm getting fired up. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing this game. I, I want to play, man. <laughs> Somebody give me a jersey. <laughs> Nine and a half to play. Warriors up by three. Far down low. And a foul is going to be called on Raekwon Drake. And that might be his fourth. I believe that is his fourth. Yep, that's his fourth. That's another Warrior starter in foul trouble. And Mike Hubbard is going to keep him in there. Nine and a half to play. Lob well, pass to Montgomery. Only with it down by three. Top of the key, Moore. Picks it up. Now sets back. 13 to shoot for Only. Three point shot from Jalen Moore is no good. Rebound, Marcus Garrett. OCC fans want a foul. Here's Garrett. Three point shot from Harvey is no good. Rebound, far. Throw it up ahead to Tolton. And Tolton draws a foul. It's going to be on Tony Burks. <laughs> Burks almost exited to the locker room. <laughs> Uh, it might have been the equipment room, maybe. Regardless. Saw the opening of the door and just almost went out. <laughs> Regardless, it's going to be a foul on Tony Burks. That's his third. So now you got Drake with four and Burks with three. Yusuf checks into the game for the Warriors. So it's Yusuf, Stanback, Harvey, Garrett, and Burks as that's Tolton hits the first free throw. He's got five. Yeah. Like once again, I said, nine minutes to play. You've got seven fouls, so only Central already in the bonus. Tolton and hits them both in a timeout taken by only a 30-second timeout. For over a century, Mount Carmel Public Utility Company has served Wabash County with safe and reliable energy. And now we're there for you in a whole new way, introducing our new Smart Hub app. The free app lets you access your account 24 hours a day right from your fingertips. Receive email notifications when a new bill is issued and pay that bill directly online anywhere, anytime. Access your usage history and more. Download the Smart Hub app today at mtcpu.com. Just another way Mount Carmel Public Utility Company serves our neighbors, families, and friends. 61 to 60. We've had a barn burner so far and an intense second half. Only was up by two at the intermission. They've had a lead as large as five here in the second half, but it's a one point warrior lead. Here, 9.15 to play. Warriors have the ball going left to right. Garrett will let it roll and picks it up. One point Warrior lead. Garrett goes right, ends it off to Burks in the corner. Burks trying to get rid of it. Now top of the key to Garrett. Back over to Burks. Looking for Yusuf. Yep, they're trying to get Yusuf down low, guarded by Farr. Farr's out of tough, has just been an absolute maniac on the boards. Garrett off the mark. There's Yusuf. Two for Yusuf and a foul. Woo! Unbelievable. Like I said, the offensive rebounding by Amir Yusuf is just so key here tonight. He had three in the first half. All three resolved the baskets. And his fourth does the same. Three-point opportunity for Yusuf and he converts. Man, some big minutes tonight for Amir Yusuf. 11 points off the bench. Warriors up by four, their biggest lead of the second half. Here's Walker, left side, top of the key, Montgomery over to Farr. Farr cutting, Walker, he'll turn and score. 11 for Nick Walker. Back to a two-point game, 64-62, Warriors in front. Yusuf posted up down low, they don't get it to him, now over to Burks. Yusuf's got the hot hand down low, wanna find him the basketball. Here's Harvey. He'll go with the right hand, strip it his way up. Blue Knights have numbers, two on one, now one on two, and Moore lays it in. 11 for Moore, and we're tied at 64. Excellent job there from Walker on the strip. Warriors back on offense, eight minutes left in a tie game. Sandbach with it, he'll drive and kick it, offensive foul, oh, they're gonna call a block. Call they a call block. a block. Wow, Warriors catch a break there. I thought Stanback was going to get the foul. 
And so we'll see who they uh, couldn't see the number for for all they called it on. What they called it on Walker. It might have been on. Regardless, that is it's Warrior Ball under eight minutes left, tied at 64. Perks to inbound. Now over to Garrett. Garrett left side. Yusuf posting up. Doesn't see him. Garrett top of the key. Under eight to play here in the second half. Ten to shoot for the Warriors. Garrett crossover. Garrett pulls up. Jumper. Good. Woo. 16 for him tonight. What a great game for Marcus Garrett. Warriors back in front. 66-64. Seven and a half to play. Here's more. Crossover. Bounce pass. Montgomery left side to Walker. Walker goes baseline against Harvey, and they call a foul on Bobby Harvey. And that's going to be Bobby's fourth foul, I do believe. Yep, yeah, they're going to try and get him out of the game now. Four fouls, maybe. No subs in yet. And that's kind of surprising. So a quick sub for Olney. Calicon checks back into the game. So a one and one now for Nick Walker, who's got 11 points. For Olney Central, first free throw is good. He's got 12. One point lead for the Warriors, and now a tie game as Walker hits both free throws. 13 points for him. 66 apiece here. 7.15 left in the ball game. Garrett, top of the key, goes right on a screen. Now back left. Down low, Yusuf knocked away, and a foul called on Farr. For the most part, Farr has done a good job. Guarding Yusuf down low. He's going to pick up his fourth foul there. And he'll come out of the game. Yeah, that's a tough break. I mean, Farr's done an excellent job on the defensive side. Putting up five points as well. So, I mean, that's a key defensive piece for this team. Chuente back in the game for only Central here. Seven minutes left in a tie game. Yusuf puts it up. Can't hit. Rebound. Kalikon of only Central. I think that might be the plan now. Give it to Yusuf now that uh, Farr is out of the game. Top of the key, Montgomery, left side to Walker. Met there by Yusuf, mismatch here. Walker goes baseline and misses. Rebound to Nietzsche, he goes up, blocked from behind, and Burks has the rebound. Burks got the block and the rebound there. Here come the Warriors. Tony, bounce pass to Yusuf, can't hit, and a, and a foul called on the Blue Knights. So it'll be two shots here for Amir Yusuf. A great pick and roll there for Tony Burks and Amir Yusuf. And it'll be two free throws, and we have a timeout on the floor. And we'll take one as well to catch our breath back in 30 seconds. Yeah, that's At First National Bank, we are committed to providing our customers with superior customer service. Whether in person or over the phone, our goal is to provide a positive customer experience each and every day. Give us a call or stop in one of our local branches today. Second half by J.J. Cal Calicon, the uh, six foot five freshman from Louisville for OCC. And also a good resurgence coming from Marcus Garrett, Bobby Harvey, as well as some great defensive playing from Tony Burks. So tied up under seven to play here in the second half. Cole Carter and Ian Klingler with you. Bryce Klingler back at the studio. We got Drew Pouton and Alec Vaughn also here helping us out. So it's going to be Amir and Yusuf at the free throw line for Wabash Valley. He's got 11 points off the bench. He's played a very big role for Mike Carpenter's ball club. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the mismatch. I mean, the only person that can really contain him is uh, Elisha Farr, who's on the bench with foul trouble. And so this is a great opportunity for Yusuf to get some more points here. Burks hits the first, puts Warriors up by one. Second one on the way, puts them up by two. 13 for Amir Yusuf in the Warriors lead, 68-66. Six and a half left here in the ball game. Look at your seatbelts, folks. <laughs> Here's more. Directing traffic, left side Walker. Warriors are now a 3-2 zone. 
Montgomery from the free throw line. Can't hit, rebounds, and each for OCC. He'll go back up and draw the foul. That's an on. Gonna call on Amir Yusuf. Yusuf may be bleeding. That will be Amir's second foul. And uh, he might be. Might have got hit in the mouth, but probably. He'll shake it off. He's a tough kid. Just making sure he didn't get any blood on the floor and didn't have to come out of the game. So a two-point Warrior lead. Two shots coming up here for Jordan Jacinti. First free throw. No good. Jacinti scoreless in this game, but he's played quite a few minutes for OCC tonight. Also got that technical foul with Carl Jones. Mm -hmm. And Jones got tangled up a bit after... Uh, Shinti hits a second. It's a one-point game. 68-67 Warriors lead. 6.20 left in the ball game. I believe it was after uh, Carl Jones make. He kind of talked to the Chunty. Mm -hmm. And both the, the officials both issued technical fouls. So Here's Burks out the key. Yusuf right side to Garrett. Garrett pull up jump shot from the free throw line. Good. Marcus Garrett with 18 points. Warriors up by three. Six minutes left. 70 to 67. Here's Calicon, right side. Now top of the key to Moore. Moore moves it over to Walker on the left side. Warriors saying the 3-2 zone. Calicon, open three-point shot, ties the game. You cannot play a zone whenever you have J.J. Calicon up on the perimeter. He will burn you. 23 points for Calicon, leads all scores. And a steal by Nick Walker, nobody in front. Here comes a dunk, no, he'll lay it in. OCC up by two. And now the momentum back on the side of the Blue Knights. And a timeout taken by Mike Carpenter as all the essential has come back. So what's your story? Looking for a cost-effective way to begin your college career? One that's close to home? Or are you still unsure of a career direction? Here's the answer. The four Illinois Eastern Community Colleges. With 100 certificate and associate degrees in career and technical fields, many online and many transferable. Frontier Community, Lincoln Trail, Alney Central, Wabash Valley, Four colleges, one mission. Let us help write your life story. Check us out online at iecc.edu. Here at Spencer Sports Center, where Olney Central leads Wabash Valley 60, uh, 72 to 70. As Mike Carpenter just took a timeout as OCC, a little bit of a run to take a two point lead after the steal. I believe it was Tony Burks who wasn't really focusing on the basketball, taking away, and an easy layup for Nick Walker. Walker on one has 13, so. It's been a momentum shift back and forth. You know, Warriors won a big run there now. The Knights with a run, and, and it's a two-point lead for Alney. Yeah, and, and, it, and that's kind of the thing that will kind of swing this game. This is who will have that last momentum. You saw that Wabash Valley went with a 3-2 zone, and it was not a good zone. Mm. as just left up uh, J.J. Calicon, who's been torching this Warriors defense with 23 points. So you gotta fix, you got to change something. I can't imagine we'll see that 3-2 zone for Wabash next trip down. Warriors have the ball down by two. 5.20 left here in the ball game. Burks, right side. Here's Garrett. Shot fake now, bounce pass. Over to Stanback. Left side, Harvey. Dribbles left, gets, gonna get a screen from Yusuf. Now doesn't want it, pull up, jump shot. No, he wanted it, now right side, Burks. Shot fake, Burks drives, puts up a shot. Short, rebound only. Not the best shot you want, but the shot clock was winding down. Blue Knights have the ball, a two-point lead, and a five to play here in the ball game. Here's Montgomery, left side to Calicon. Calicon top of key Montgomery. Here's the ball right side to Moore. Moore dribbles it out. Seven to shoot for Olney. Moore directed traffic, four to shoot. Burks got to get up on him. Moore fires a three-point shot, and it's no good. Rebound, Yusuf. Yusuf over to Bobby Harvey. Warriors down by two. 4.15 left to play in the ball game. Burks, left side Garrett. Now over to stand back, left side to Harvey. Gets a screen from Yusuf. Harvey for three, away off the mark. Rebound Calicon of Aldi Central. Four minutes left in the two point Blue Knight lead. Here's Moore. Taking his time, they're gonna kill as much clock as they can on each possession. 
Moore guarded by Birch. Bounce pass to Calicon. Met there by Harvey. Calicon drives, spins, and is going to put up a shot. Fading away. It's short. Montgomery there for the rebound. Now it's Tony Birch. Two on three for the Warriors. And Birch will slow it down. Birch. Probably a good idea. Double team now and a foul call on J.J. Calicon. <laughs> I love watching those Warrior baseball players there in the student section. <laughs> that, that's some good entertainment right there. That's the third foul on Calicon. The Warriors would love for him to foul out. As he has scored 23 points tonight for Alney Central. So, Warriors in the bonus now. It's going to be a one and one for Tony Burks, who's got four points tonight. So, Mir Yusuf and Bobby Harvey, two of the best, probably one of the best, better players that will be good this game, sitting on the bench. Burks hits the first. He's got five. On the floor for the Warriors. Got Stanback, Garrett. Burks, Boyd, and Drake. Kind of a smaller lineup here. No Yusuf and no Jones. And I think that might be complimenting with OCC's smaller mm -hmm. lineup that they have. Second free throw, no good. Rattled out, one point only lead, three and a half left here in the ball game. What again, this has been between Wabash Valley and Alney Central. Crowd getting loud here for the Warriors. More drives, cross-court pass. Walker, open three-point shot is no good. Rebound, stand back for Wabash Valley. Here's Birch. Here's a three on four. Birch drives, no whistle, and a steal and a blocking foul. Man, the Warriors catch another break on the offensive end. Thought for sure it was going to be a charge, but instead... It goes against Alney Central against Moore, so a one-to-one -one coming up for Tony Burks. Unbelievable. I thought I thought it was a charge. Yeah. You thought it was a charge. Probably almost everybody in the building yeah. thought it was a charge except for the officials. I think the Alney Central fans have a right to be upset there. So a one-to-one -one here for Tony Burks and the Warriors down by two. Down by one, I should say, 71-72. First free throw for Burks. No good. Rebound, Blue Knights. Burks has missed his past two free throws. One point lead for Alney. Three minutes left here at the Spencer Sports Center. Moore. Directing traffic. Dribbling to his right. Now top to Keaton Montgomery. Down low. Back door to Nitsche. Blocked by Burks. And Garrett saves it. Into the hands of Alney Central. Calicon. Now over to Walker. Right side Moore. Open three-point shot. Puts the Blue Knights up by four. And a timeout. Taken by Aldi Central. As the Blue Knights now up by four, 75-71 with 2.42 left to play. Let's we'll see if it's a 30 or a four. I think it's a full, so we'll take one as well. Back in 30 seconds. The Tri-State source for alternative rock is 89-1 The Bash. It's the color Connect with us wherever you are on social. Long coast gets swept away. Listen live on our free mobile apps, online, or on TuneIn. We are today's hit alternative, 89.1 The Bash. 75-71, Alley Central in front here, 2.42 left in the ballgame. Cole Carter and Ian Klingler, you're listening to Warrior Basketball on 89.1 WBJC and BashRadio.com. Also, Drew Pound and Alec Vaughn. Here in the arena helping us. And back in the studio, Bryce Klingler helping us out. And don't forget to mention that we are live currently on mm -hmm. Facebook. You can see that on Wabash Valley Athletics. So you can see the replay of this yep. game as well. And we'll also have a replay on News Channel 15. Yep. If you want to watch this great ending and more of a visual person, just type in Wabash Valley Athletics on Facebook and watch it for free. Same audio, but it's some video coverage as well. So... 2.42 to go. Warriors have the basketball down by four. Still plenty of basketball left. But a big three by Jalen Moore. He's got 14 points. He's made it a four-point Blue Knight lead. Warriors need a basket here. Down by four. Here's Burks on a screen. Goes right. Picks up top of the key. Drake. Left side Boyd. Boyd dribbles right now over to Burks. Burks on a screen. Lost it, got it back, now picks it up. Tend to shoot for the Warriors. Boy, left side, pulls up for three. No good, rebound, Alney 
Central in and out there for Justin Boy as the shot clock was winding down. Only with the basketball up by four. Two minutes left. Montgomery, top of the key, left side Moore, who just hit that big three to put the Knights up by four. Two minutes left here in Mount Carmel. Six to shoot. Moore, going to buy Burks, goes to the basket. He's a left-handed shooter, puts it up. No good. Rebound, Burks. Warriors down by four. 145 left. Burks. Drives with the right hand. Now in the corner to Boyd, tipped away. Excellent job there by J.J. Calicon. No, you don't see him. He's guard, face guarding Marcus Garrett. Make sure he does not get that ball. He's got 18 points already. And here comes Bobby Harvey. Bobby Harvey back in the game. He's got 15. Garrett leads the scores for Wabash Valley with 18, as you mentioned, Ian. So on the floor for the Warriors, it's Boyd, Drake, Harvey, Stanback, and Garrett. Garrett inbounds to Harvey, 15 to shoot for the Warriors. Garrett goes left, puts up a left-handed shot and banks it in. It's a two-point game with a timeout taken by Mike Carpenter. And it's a full timeout, so we'll take one as well. Back in 60 seconds. For over a century, Mount Carmel Public Utility Company has served Wabash County with safe and reliable energy. And now we're there for you in a whole new way. Introducing our new Smart Hub app. The free app lets you access your account 24 hours a day right from your fingertips. Receive email notifications when a new bill is issued and pay that bill directly online anywhere, anytime. Access your usage history and more. Download the Smart Hub app today at mtcpu.com. Just another way Mount Carmel Public Utility Company serves our neighbors, families and friends. At First National Bank, we are committed to providing our customers with superior customer service. Whether in person or over the phone, our goal is to provide a positive customer experience each and every day. Give us a call or stop in one of our local branches today. One twenty-nine left here in this barn burner between Wabash Valley and Albany Central. The Blue Knights lead it 75-73. Cole Carter and Ian Klingley here with you. This game has been about everything you thought it would be between two stellar teams fighting tonight. Two GRAC teams going at it. 90 seconds left and a two-point only lead. They had the ball. Crowd getting loud for the Wabash defense. Here's Montgomery. Left side to Walker. Back to Montgomery. 16 to shoot for the Blue Knights. Down low. Calicon goes up and scores. 25 for J.J. Calicon. Back to a four-point lead for Alney. Garrett over to Harvey. Left side to Burks. One minute left. Warriors show by four. Garrett. It's a screen. Pulls up for three. No good. Burks gets the offensive rebound. Burks dribbles it out. Now top of the key. Harvey for three. It's no good. Rebound fought for into the hands of Wabash Valley. And the basket is no good. This is Standback who goes up and scores to make it a two-point game. Timeout. Timeout. Wabash Valley. A crazy sequence there as Isaac Standback got the offensive board and made it a two-point game once again. And we'll keep it here. Timeout, Wabash Valley. We'll keep it here. 41.8 seconds left in a two-point all-knee lead. And if you're Wabash, you don't need a foul yet, but you got to get a stop here defensively. Yeah, and your main thing, number one, stop J.J. Calicon mm. in the post. You cannot put Marcus Garrett on him. That's a big mismatch. You've got to put somebody bigger on there that can bully him around. So it will be... Alney basketball underneath the Wabash basket. Warriors, I assume, are going to go full court pressure here. Not sure the timeout situation, how many e either team has left here. All right, see it now. Wabash has two timeouts left. Alney has three. So keep that in mind. 41.8 seconds left. Once again, listen to the Warrior basketball on 89.1 The Bash as well as BassRadio.com and watching on Facebook Live. Thanks to everybody for tuning in tonight. 
We've had a great game so far. In the women's game, they won 102-64. Kia Patton set the school record for 46 points. So, Blue Knights with the ball. Underneath the Warrior basket, 41.8 seconds left. Referee's going to have some discussion here before we resume play. Both teams are in the bonus, so a foul will send them to the free throw line. 77-75, Warriors lead, 41 seconds left. Or correction, Alney leads, and they have the basketball. Calicon with it. Calicon met there by Garrett. Can't Calicon have Garrett on him. Across the timeline. Bounce pass almost stolen away in the hands of Moore. You got to switch on him now. Calicon's going to try and go into the post. 12 to shoot. Here's Moore. Gets past Burks. Goes up and draws a foul. Well, they want a goal 10 call, but it's not going to be a goal 10. It's going to be a, look at this, call a foul. Oh, okay, so the call on number 11, that's going to be on standback. So it's going to be two shots coming up for Jalen Moore, who, if you recall, hit that big three-pointer about three minutes ago to put the, Warrior, put the Blue Knights up by four at that point. Now a two-point game. So two shots coming up for the sophomore from Cloverdale, Indiana. His first one. Good. 15 for more. This one is huge. And we're going to have a sub as Bobby Harvey will check back in for Wabash Valley. Raquan Drake checks out. On the floor for the Warriors, it's Boyd, Stanback, Harvey, Garrett, and Burks. For OCC, it is Elijah Farr, Moore shooting the free throw. Calicon, Walker, and Montgomery. Moore hits them both, four point lead, timeout, Alley Central. 30 second timeout, we'll take one as well, back in 30 seconds. Channel 15 is now available on the Roku and Apple TV smart devices. Log on to Facebook.com slash My15News to learn more. 21.6 seconds left in the ball game. Aldi Central up by four. 79-75. Warriors have the basketball. You would like to get a three-point shot if you're Wabash, but you'll take a two here. You'll take anything. And you'll have to foul immediately. So the shot clock will be turned off from this point forward. And once again, Wabash basketball up to go lead to the floor. I think if you're OCC, your main thing, do not let Marcus Garrett with the ball. I would rather have you take a shot with Bobby Harvey than take a shot with Marcus Garrett. Well, Garrett's got 18, Harvey with 15, but I think it's more or less who you're more comfortable with shooting a three-pointer here if you want a three-pointer. We'll just see what they decide to do. They're the coaches, we're the broadcasters. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let them decide that. 21.6 seconds, Alney going to apply some pressure here. Harvey to inbound, he will throw it to Burks. 21 seconds left, Warriors down by four. Here's Burks, he's going to go to the basket now out to Boyd. Boyd shot faked and almost traveled, now finds Harvey. Garrett, corner shot, fires a three, no good. Oh. Try to draw a foul and the shot hit the top of the backboard. And a timeout. Taken by Aldi Central. And kind of a crazy sequence there. Marcus Garrett complaining because he wanted a foul. And then the Warrior coaches are agreeing. So full timeout, we'll take one as well, back in 30. So what's your story? Looking for a cost-effective way to begin your college career? One that's close to home? Or are you still unsure of a career direction? Here's the answer. The four Illinois Eastern Community Colleges with 100 certificate and associate degrees in career and technical fields, many online and many transferable. Frontier Community, Lincoln Trail, Alney Central, Wabash Valley. Four colleges, one mission. Let us help write your life story. Check us out online at iecc.edu. Well, 9.4 seconds left. Warriors trail by four. And some fans are starting to make their way to the exits here as Olney as long as they can at least keep the ball away from the Warriors here, they'll have this one 
in the bag. A missed three by Marcus Garrett a few seconds ago. We'll get the ball back to OCC with 9.4 seconds left. Got to assume the Warriors will foul immediately here. They have two timeouts, only with one left. Yeah, you just got to watch for people who can and can't foul on. So you just got to watch out for that. One of them being Isaac Stombach. So they'll inbound. Walker will inbound and now finds Moore. And Moore will dribble across the three-point line and draw the foul on Bobby Harvey. And so that will send Jalen Moore to the free throw line. Yep, some, some people, a lot of people are making their yep. way towards the exit. And with 5.3 seconds left, I would say if Moore, really even if he hits just one of these, this should be about in the back for, for Alney. Just not enough time for Wabash to come back. And it really goes back to that three-point shot that Jalen Moore hit with about 90 seconds left. Was the nail in the coffin. Missed free throw for Moore. So once again, Wabash down by four with 5.3 seconds left. But you also got to give credit. I mean, I understand this may go as a loss. That shot is this is the second one. Boyd grabs the rebound. Here's Harvey. He'll fire a three-point shot. It won't matter. And it's no good. So Alney Central wins a thriller in their Grack Conference opener. 79-75 to over the Wabash Valley College Warriors. Wabash Valley falls to 1-4, and four, and Alney improves to 6-0, and oh, and a tough loss for the Warriors tonight. We will take a one-minute break, come back, and have some post-game stats for you. You are listening to Warrior Basketball on 89.1 The Bash. <laughs> 